So, hey you guys, I'm going to show you how to install the Vesta control panel um, on DigitalOcean. And, okay, well first let's do this. Uh, let's create a new droplet. <laughs> now this video, uh, I have another video where you provide your own DNS services, right? Well, this one is where, for example, with DigitalOcean, they will provide our DNS services for us, right? Okay, so I'm going to come down, I'm going to choose this one, 64-bit, okay, we'll go one, um, let's go here. New Vesta demonstration. Okay, now, hey, you guys, you know these one-click apps? Don't use that because the configurations, we're going to let the Vesta control panel configuration script, the installation script is going to install our PHP. It's going to install our MySQL. It's going to install Apache. It's going to install in Nginx. It needs to be a clean install, a minimal install, okay? That's very important. It's we've got to have it that way. Now, if you have a if you buy a VPS, if you have a VPS account where um, you're going to create, you're going to provide your own DNS, right? Where you configure your own DNS services. I have a video on that, okay, where you're going to create your own name servers and create your own host names. I have a video for the Vesta control panel on how to do that because sometimes with some providers you will need to do that, right? You'll need to configure your own DNS, okay? All right. Um, well, let's do this. Let's create a domain. Now, this University of JavaScript, we're going to delete that because I had that on a different one. Okay. All right, so we're going to do that here. Okay, because right, some people will access it via www. Okay, so we're going to create that. Okay. Now. Okay, so I'm going to change this later, so I don't care if you see this password. Um, so we need to come over here. Now we're going to need to do something here. Okay, so you can see you are required to change your password immediately. Okay. So, um, we enter, so we're going to paste in the password we just pasted in, right? We're going to paste in this one again, okay? 
Now here's our new one. We're going to retype it. Okay. Okay. So one thing I really like about um, Vesta is the installation process is very quick. It's very, they handle many things for us, okay? Now we might need to update, I might need to update this, let's see. It may say curl's not installed. Oh, it is, okay, it was on this one. All right, sometimes it's not. If it's, sometimes it's not and you have to update that, okay? If you need to pause the video to type these in again, to type these in, you go ahead and do that. It says it will take 15 minutes, but it shouldn't. Um, now, while we wait, I, all right, I have already set the DNS to DigitalOcean, and that's all we need to do, okay? We don't need to create any host names, okay? We don't need to uh, configure our, uh, we don't yeah so again I have a video I have another video that you can take a look at where you can you provide your own DNS services right through bind um, and let's see just to give you an idea um, they do have a um, it is free except you can get a you can get this a web file manager right if you want it you can try it for a month um, again when I compare this control panel to other control panels um, I have found it works very very well now there's one thing they're going to ask us a question in a moment. And this is very important uh, that we get it right because it relates to whether or not um, you're gonna provide your own DNS services. And in this case, we're not. DigitalOcean is gonna provide those for us, right? Um, so we're going to choose the default, um, but if again if you want to install this which you very well may if you want to install this and have you set up your own DNS services no problem it works just as well it works quite well um, and again I have another video on that um, just make sure you know which video you're watching right I mean in terms of what you need and it works the other way. It works with the uh, providing your own DNS services very quickly and very well with very few problems as well. Um, I was very impressed. It's, uh, I think it's great. So we're waiting, waiting, waiting.
also the emails the configuration of the mail server it does that really well uh, there weren't any bugs for me I, I I thought it was terrific they it was and uh, PHP and my admin also um, with many other control panels there's lots of little problems that arise and you have to fix them that you know you think that the creator of the control panel would have already uh, made sufficient preparations um, but they don't but hey Investa it takes care of those okay uh, round cube mail right you can use round cube and it installs and configures round cube perfectly um, okay now I don't care if um, I don't care if you see this password because I'm going to change it very soon um, by the time you watch this I will have changed it okay that's okay Okay, terrific. Um, so here we have it. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to how we set up our domain, right? We have University of JavaScript. It's ready to go, right? It's ready to go. Um, and so I will do that in the next video. Now what we can do is we can come over to admin and we can change our password okay we can change it here and we can then we can save it okay so on to the next video let's set up a domain